I just dip the brush in, dab a little bit on the side, apply kind of evenly. over nice and easy so you're not peeling it off as you go over it. So I don't really prime things but like you wash them pretty good with soap and water you don't need to really prime. Oh shit. You can thin it out more too with water if you want. These McFarlane figures paint pretty good. So if you can see, there's no brush strokes on it. I'll paint this whole body area or so. Let it dry. And most likely hit it again. It all just depends on how it looks. If you can see some of the color from the bottom layer coming through or not. see hopefully what I've learned is you can't put a lot of paint on the brush because if you do then you start to get the brush strokes and as you go over it it um, begins to peel off because I don't use anything really but acrylics and it will start to peel because it's like a plastic almost as you can see I'm just coming in here going real light the other thing too is like depending on how long you've done this like let's start understanding the brush stroke Here again. Hopefully you can see that. If not, let me know and I'll try to get some better lighting. But this is typically it. And then there's this other technique that I use. I call it dry brushing. I don't know what other people might call it. But um, I typically like get paint on the brush. I'll show you on this back piece here. What I'll do is here. Get this brush, it's dry, and I'll just dip it into the paint a little bit. 
come over here till like there's almost no there's no paint and then I'll just start coming in here like this and as you can see it's barely coming on there and you'll have to add coat after coat after coat but it gives more of a even look to it and if you're using like a lighter color on top of this dark blue here it'll it'll bring out detail pretty good I'm gonna finish up this and the pause and then I'll, I'll record some more then I'll show you how I'm gonna do so if you look that blue right there is almost even with the other one and it's the dry brush as I like to call it like I said you can see on there too I need some touch up but in my honest opinion considering this has been like maybe five minutes tops of painting and doing stuff like it's not bad prep time with soap and water letting it dry and getting right into it no primer no nothing like I said you can see right here what I'm doing and it's covering pretty well and then a lot of times too like if the cape's gonna cover something I won't cover it completely with paint because I'm not gonna play with this stuff it's usually just painted I put it up let it look cool you know but I don't I don't I don't use them for a plane whatnot so it doesn't matter if certain things aren't covered like right here I'm probably not going to go up much more because the cape's going to cover that spot but like you can see the dry brush technique makes it really really smooth and the other one looks pretty damn good too so like I said I'm going to go ahead and pause finish this up and then I'll show you a little bit more back sooner than expected but I didn't know if maybe to hell with it you just want to watch see how I continue to apply the paint and as far as taking them apart I have other what do you call it uh, I have one or two other videos on this page, um, channel, whatever, that show the boil and pop version. I used it on the, um, the bat cycle, and then I show how I boil and pop this guy apart. Not the same one, a different one, but, um, it, uh, I don't know what version you typically use or whatever but today for this guy I just took the old um, blow dryer tin got them significantly hot and popped the stuff off this guy's shoulders are pretty thin though if you're gonna do that so be careful not to rip the, the plastic off but you can see now this is pretty much done. Um, after the fact, I'll go back in. Like this back needs some more work. But I'm gonna let it dry as of right now and um, attack something else. Um, because if you continue to do this technique regardless, you're gonna start peeling paint back if it's not dry. It's gotta be pretty dry. It only takes a good maybe 20 minutes for them to dry. Like I can show you on here. Also, it doesn't take much to get these guys covered. So, and as you can see, like when I do it like that, you don't get a um brush stroke I mean 
Let's see here, dry this off a bit. And I can show you like even like this here, minimal paint, even if you're doing like a stroke, you're not getting the brush strokes. So there you go, you can see it's pretty smooth. So now I'm gonna pause, mess around with some of this stuff for a bit, come back and show you my other technique. So while you're doing this, um, the brush might start getting saturated with paint. So what I end up doing is I will clean it off real quick. Just take my water, dirty as shit too. I'm just gonna clean it off, dab it in there. Try it my rag. And then um, sometimes if I have another brush just like it, I'll continue with a different brush. But we'll use this time to take a little break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill this video here and then I'll upload another one with the dry brush, dry brush detail technique. Let me know what you think though, man. Thanks.